Welcome back. After you've cast on, then you want to start to think about how you can knit. And if you've done the single cast on, like we just did with our um, bamboo needles and our Tough Love Sock yarn here, um, then you should be able to start knitting. So we have 20 stitches across our cast on. And to start knitting, we have them on the left needle because we cast them onto the left needle. Um, and we're going to now start to move them over to the right needle as we knit. Okay, so there are different ways of knitting. The way that I'm going to show you is um, one of the most common ways. Um, and it is uh, often referred to as throwing your yarn over. Okay, so you go in in the same way that you started to cast on. So you put your right needle through the front bottom of the loop of your left needle on the first loop. Then you throw your yarn around the right needle, bring it through, and then this time rather than what we were doing before was putting that back onto the needle to cast it on, we want to actually drop that stitch from the left hand needle and keep the new stitch on the right hand needle. Okay, so we go under, throw the yarn over the right needle, bring it through the front, push that stitch off. Through the bottom front, throw the yarn over the right needle, come through the top, push that one off as you go. Under, throw, up and over, off under, throw, up and over, off, okay? If you just keep going and progress across your 20 stitches, if that's what you've got, just to make us a little square. So under, throw, bring it back over, push it off. Under, throw, up and over, off. Under, throw, up and over, off. And as you get going, you might start to get a little bit quicker, but you are knitting. Well done. Just try and keep the tension on your yarn. You see how I've got the yarn here in my hand? Just try and keep that even and steady, just allowing your yarn to pass through. That's going to have a really um, important impact on your tension. Yeah, so throw. Don't get allow it to get too loose or too tight. Just try and keep it steady. Through the bottom, throwing over, up and out through the top. Through the bottom, throw over, over the top. And I'm coming to my last two stitches because I had 20 on. That is my slip stitch, but I'm gonna also knit that as number 20. And then I've got my first row on my right hand needle. Okay, now because I'm working on straight needles, yes, what you would normally do is you would decide what kind of stitch you're doing at this point um, and you would start knitting into a pattern. But I want you to just keep knitting knit stitches. So to do that, if you want to start on your second row, you're going to take the right needle and make it the left needle. And what you will be doing is looking at the back of the stitches now. Okay, so and then you're going to just knit back across. So I've swapped my needle, so my fresh needle in my right hand, and then I'm going to progress across knitting again. Yep, so under, over, off, under, throw, over, off, under, throw, over, off, under, throw, and remember you're going through the front of your stitch. Push your stitches up so that it's not too tight to pull them off, okay, without pushing them off. Um, and you go under the front of the knee of the stitch and then off. So go in under the front, throw over, bring it off. Okay, and as you get a bit more confident, you will pick up your pace a little bit and just keep it steady. Remember to try and keep this hand with your wool in your hand, your yarn in your hand, just allowing it to steadily come through your hand. Under, throw, 
bring it over, push it off under, throw your yarn over, throw it over. There you go. And you've got two rounds. So again, all of your stitches are now on the needle, which was in your right hand. And you're starting to accumulate. But if you want to keep going, we swap that one over to the left. So now we are on the right side again. And I think if I was going to carry on at this point, I would be looking just to put a stitch marker on the front of my work. So I remember which one is the front. Okay, so I'm going to just pop that in the front. Um, because when you start to knit like this and you're doing knit every row, sometimes it can be a bit difficult to remember which one's the front and which one's the back because you're developing a stitch that looks the same and developing a pattern that looks the same on both sides. So if I want to remember this is the front, I'm just going to put in a little stitch marker there to remind me. And then I'm going to knit another row. So I'm just going to knit through this one a little bit quicker. Hopefully you are getting the hang of it. So you can see it a little bit more in real time. That's my needles knocking against the table, if you can hear it. There we go. Okay. So from the front, you've got three rows of knitting. Okay. If you carry on, try and do 20 rows of knitting so that you end up with a square, which will be approximately square, maybe, hopefully same height and same width and see how many rows that takes you I'm gonna gauge sort of somewhere between 20 and 30 rows and you might have a square and then I will see you back here in a bit <laughs> 